Oh, this is insane because we have three guys. Once this play ends, three guys are blocking nobody. The blocking running back is blocking nobody. The 76, 67 are all blocking nobody as we're getting another instant sack with only four rushers against six blockers. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snow the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new defense for you guys today, a new blitz uh, that, in my opinion, is one of the easiest and fastest blitzes in the game. Now, I'm still in the Dolphins slash Giants. It's the only defensive playbook that I've used all year. I just put out a full breakdown of it on Sunday. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys if you didn't catch that. The formation is the 2-3-6 Sam, but if you're in a 4-3 playbook, it's probably just called the dollar. The blitz I'm going to show you guys today is the Strong Eagle Slant 3. I've already put out a couple blitzes out of this formation. I've already put out the DB Fire 2, which is a pro favorite play. Um, I put out some run defenses. I have more defenses as well. I could put out plays like the cover six press. Uh, there's also the, uh, the the cover three lock, which is a very unique defense. So if you guys want to see more out of this formation, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. I can do a full scheme breakdown of this particular play. For now, I'm going to have a couple of these extra plays on my Patreon on my Join Out Community tab. Uh, but if you guys want to see more, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. You can put safeties at your linebackers. If somebody's passing a lot, you could always run this with safeties all over the field. This is not really meant to be a run defense anyway so just make sure you have a lot of safeties and cornerbacks uh, a lot of speed here i also put my uh, my cornerbacks my best cornerbacks my fastest cornerbacks at the slot positions which will help a lot too even with the db fire too they're going to be coming in off the edge so basically have your but most of your speed in the slot positions and then make sure you have your you know fastest most user-friendly uh safety at the linebacker positions that's really the easiest way to go on this defense so let's go and let's pick the strong eagle slant three on the offensive side i'm going to go over the meta gun bunch because that's typically you know something you see a lot everybody runs a little bit of gun bunch in their life uh, i'll start off with a play where the running back's not blocking and then i'll show you one where he is is blocking you can see the setup can change a little bit but ultimately we're gonna get sacks against just about anything we see and we're gonna get some very good pass defense too because we've got a lot of dbs on the field so let's go and let's pick the pats verts for now now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors aoh.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and help this channel at the same time check them out link in the description below is your discount code money to get three percent off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market but they also have a discount code going right now a promotion going right now uh, where you can use discount code email to get six percent off so even even better deal that's six percent off anything on their website so check them out this is a matching cover three which is a superior performing cover three just make sure that your safety is in the middle of the field and you're going to see how you're going to get more of a man matching quality when it comes to these seam flats compared to like your traditional over the top curl flats which don't really match well this man matching uh cover three is much better than your typical sky cover three which is going to give you really good coverage and really good pass defense on top of this blitz now, as far as the setup goes, it's super simple. All I'm going to do is baseline and press. That's all I really have to do. I don't even really have to press, to be honest with you, or baseline for that matter. If I want to, I can just bring this cornerback down uh, because, you know, baseline and pressing is cool and all. But if I do that, a lot of times it'll get your cornerbacks in trouble because they're right uh, in the receiver's face. A simple streak with a, with a speed disadvantage can kind of get you burnt. But that's one of the easier ways to do it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy here who's my user on a blitz. And then I'm going to guess pass. That's all I really got to do. Then I just want to hover this gap. My job is pretty much to pull the guard. That's all I really have to do. I find it's best to come all the way over here to try to pull the line as much as possible. But I find it really doesn't matter. I can come right over the uh, the center here. Any number of things work. My, my goal is to pull this guard because if I can pull this guard it's a five on five with a free man as you can see right there that's exactly what happens and that quarterback is toast so the goal of this play for me is to just pull a guard pull any lineman I want to have somebody blocking nobody it's a five on five right now I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, a five on six in a minute and still have success but ultimately when it's a five on five I just have to get a lineman to hesitate and that's exactly what happens with 69 here he stops by the time he realizes I'm not really coming in it's too late you can see that 76 he's going to be the guy that really gets smoked at the moment he's blocking nobody he's got two people coming he's got the middle linebacker and the outside cornerback coming but ultimately he's got to choose at this point and he's got to take the inside guy you can see he try he thinks about taking that cornerback he tries to sell out but it's too late he's got to pick up the the guy that's closer to the quarterback and that's why we have an instant uh you know you know pressure from the edge here this guy's basically just going to come right at the quarterback quarterback has no chance now we're going to kick this up a notch though we have a five-man blitz we're going to turn into a four-man blitz we're going to have the exact same success we can walk this cornerback down once again we don't have to do the press which i think is best i'm going to basically put myself on 
on that user blitz and gas pass one more time. But now I'm going to put the A uh, or the... Uh, the outside linebacker here, I think it's a defensive end. I'm not 100% sure, but it's an outside linebacker in a defensive end position. I'm going to put him on a bluff blitz. That's all I really have to do, and you're going to see we're going to still get that blitz through. So this is a four-man rush uh, on a five-man blocking setup, and we're going to get that guy in free. So let's go and do that one more time. Like I said, there, just got to hesitate. You can see the cornerback comes in, and we get an easy sack, even though we really only had four guys rushing. And if you watch Brown right here, he spends the entire play blocking nobody is we have a free man coming in off the edge here this is a four-man blitz with five guys blocking brown the best lineman on the on the entire team blocks nobody now the last time i did this by walking the cornerback down let's go and let's do it with the baseline press setup uh and then we'll do the the exact same blitz with the bluff blitz and this is pretty much the look right here so bam we got ourselves um set up with a four-man blitz i just had to stay home long enough to keep to pull this guard back and you're going to see how they're going to have that same success. Only this time, the linebacker looped in. The guy did get it off. But you can see how that left tackle has to choose one or the other. This time, it was even glitchier. As you can see, this time, 76 tries to block them both. Actually blocks nobody. And then as the guard comes over late, you can see two guys on this play and the block of nobody once the play's over. So we're going to go over and do that one more time. Only now I'm going to block the running back. Because I'm sure there's a lot of people that are saying, well, the running back's not blocking. So let's go and let's go with the PA post. Whenever you're doing it with the running back blocking, you just have to make sure that the cornerback is coming off the opposite side of the running back. It's really that simple. There's a couple other things I can do to kick it up a notch, but it's the exact same setup. Just make sure that your, your, your cornerback is off the opposite side. It's really that easy. There's no real setup needed on this play. I just, like here, I'm just gonna move him out a little bit. I can't have him too close. So that's pretty much it, same setup. We're gonna do the exact same thing. I don't feel like the you can put the X route on a bluff blitz here, but let's go and let's do that as we're going to have pretty much the exact same effect. If we can get a sack like this with six men blocking, I'm going to lose my mind. You can see right here, we get the sack on the very first play with the bluff blitz. But you can see here once again, four guys coming in this time. I, I you know, this is insane because we have three guys. Once this play ends, three guys are blocking nobody. The blocking running back is blocking nobody. The 76, 67 are all blocking nobody as we're getting another instant sack with only four rushers against six blockers. I mean, the setup's really easy. I just can't have this guy too close. Like he's too close there. Move him out just so the tackle doesn't pick him up. And then that's all you gotta do is blitz this guy, bring him down over the guard, pull the guard and guess pass. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. And I'm gonna get a sack four against six. As you can see right here, once again, there's the running back doesn't even rotate to pick him up. So it's really simple, whether the running back's blocking or not. If the running back's not blocking, it's easy. You can run this from anywhere. If the running back is blocking, you just have to run the, the, the blitzing cornerback just has to be far enough away that he gets around uh, the running back. It's really that simple. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos on defense, as always, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.